Uh, can an IM sound like a 90s rave? Actually, this is Static X, so not. But anyway, hi, I'm Zeos Pantera, the host of In Air Fetish. Don't forget to check out the $10 Patreon tier or subscribe to it where you get to join a chat with me and 200 other people in it. And then, uh, you know, talk about audio all day. Um, okay, so... I feel like maybe that shelf is like, you know when you go to like a winery and they're like, and this is the 2018 and this is the 2016 and over there in the locked room, you're not allowed to fucking go and there's like the 1987 bottles of Cabernet. I feel like that shelf over there is perfectly aging all these IMs to be great. Because I, I do like the new ones, the ones that are more recent, the ones that have been here in the last three months and then I pull out like the TRI Starshines. And I don't know when they got here, and all I know is the wire has a 2.5 millimeter on it and a bunch of adapters, which is was the thing, which was the style at the time, was to go 2.5 wire and then a 3. Point, not only just a 3.5 adapter, not only just a 4.4 adapter, but a balanced 3.5 adapter. There's like two amplifiers in the earth that use this. It was an IFI thing, and then they stopped. Anyway, um, I fucking like them. Not just like them, I fucking love them. I'm fucking upset every time I find like these golden nuggets just sitting there on a shelf, unlistened to, because I don't like, oh, I got an IM. Oh, I'm gonna try it for 20 minutes. Eh, it's okay, I'll put it down. I don't listen to them at all until they are ready for fucking review. Because I get like four or five at a time sometimes, so it's just a mechanical process. And then the ones on that poor shelf, that poor fucking shelf back there, are just like, hey, you burned me in like in 2022. Can you give me a listen? And I'm like, we'll get back to you. Anyway, and the thing is, I like everything TRI makes. The i3s are fucking great. The TRI, uh, what the fuck's the big one? There's, my box has like two or three TRI IMs. There was a star, there was a, this, another star or light, the star ball. Anyway, I don't know the price of these. We're going to play that fun game. Pull them off my wall, throw them on my desk, pick the fucking desk mat. I like this one. It's a lot of colors. I like the fact that it's not as clear. It's like, you can't quite make anything out. It's like, it's like, this is a dream. And I put these IEMs in. I'm like, oh, good. They come with adapters. They come with the standard TRI case. I'm literally staring at the name. And I'm like, what's the other TRI? The one that I fucking love. The one that's in the box. It's another star or light reference. Anyway, these things are fucking... All right, so. Oh, my God. Okay. Rhythm of the Rainforest. Rhythm of the... Wait, Rhythm of the Rainforest is the album name. Song for the Ruins is the song title. And the artist is Various. And it's just a heartbeat and trickling water like in a brook. And birds and crickets, and I am inside them. In fact, I might... Yeah, no, this is definitely going into the new tests for sound demos. What the fuck is happening? Um, before we get on to me describing the sound poorly, I don't, I'm not drunk, high, or on coffee enough to do the sound for these. But we'll get to it. Everything you see here or on their highest amplification settings. See, I don't know the price, and I didn't really like search over the box, so it's more fun if I know nothing. But I'm able to look inside, and I see a big balanced armature there, and then it looks like another medium-sized balanced armature, and then two little guys there. So I'm not sure, is this a 4BA? Because that's a huge balanced armature there, and one tube coming through. And I don't see a dynamic, so I think it's just pure BA. Um, very pretty. They've got that going for them. They're thick boys. That is a thick. That is a that is an extra thick BA. Um, I think it's a four BA. I'm gonna go with that. With the beautiful fucking the the wood, like the 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 uh, what the hell is it called when they do this to the wood where they make it creamy? That's another thing. Right, let's get into sound quality and and like signature. Uh, I'm gonna come off the Gashelli Labs on high. Very rare. This is actually still on low gain, but one o'clock on a speaker amp. I don't even know the ohms these are running. So, okay, sound. I gotta get sound. I gotta get sound. I gotta get the sound. I gotta get the fucking sound. Meze Imperial Elites. 
but slightly narrow soundstage. But then not narrow soundstage because some something to do with IMs and the, and the the term echo. I'm going to call it. Whereas like you hear an instrument, it makes a sound, and you know soundstage would indicate that that sound is happening far away, and then low soundstage is happening right in your face. But IMs, and this is something you don't really find in headphones more, or at all even. Usually a headphone, when I say a soundstage, it means it sounds like the instrument is far away. And when it's gotten low soundstage or narrow, it sounds here. But IMs can do this thing where the sound happens here, and then you hear the reverberation of it there. Like, it's like, but it's like it echoes. It's like a chamber sound. I don't know if that's on purpose i don't know if that's something to do with the tubes that are delivering the sound down and it's like reverberating up and down the tube i don't know but these have that shit in spades so you're getting this like very rich vibrant aggressive sound package yet smooth and then when you think like these don't have a lot of sound stage you you like close your eyes and you feel the space around the music did that any of that make sense great Led Zeppelin. I've also found myself with these particular IMs listening to fucking everything. The Beatles was on, Led Zeppelin's on, is a static X. I'm just everything's fine. Everything sounds great. That's another rare quality in IMs, because some IMs, this also is on high gain at 50%. Alright, now it's at high gain at 40%. Achilles last stand. Not not a huge difference in sound signature between different amps. This is a little different. Stone Cold Believer, 38 Special. It's just, it's... This, the imaging. There's like Madoka Magica Puella no... Puella in some, you know, I don't know. There's just bells and shit dancing. But then there's that, like, it's dinging here, but I'm hearing an echo, and I'm not sure if that echoes in the song, so I gotta get, like, a headphone out and, like, really listen carefully. It's like, is this in the track, or is it just something weird these IMs are doing? I'm gonna guess these at $500. I was gonna drop that to $400, but they're too good. They're too good. Um, here's the case, by the way. Well, here's the case. Here's what it comes with. It comes with five standard silicone tips. I've only put in the Daconis, like my old school, I could pick Daconis. I like Daconis. I haven't even tried like the render tips or the Dunu SS, which is what those tube tips are. Here, well, or, or Elastic. We'll give these a little, we'll give these a little touch, a little touch on these just because I, I, I got to know now because maybe with render tips, which by the way, these are the, uh, the render tips that came with uh, my last collab. My latest collab as of the recording of this um, video. These are super long too. Like like how far that is sticking out. Like these actually don't even feel like they're seating in my ears. They're like, all right, I'm in your ear. I'm like, Jesus Christ, join the party. I complain when IMs are not big enough. And they feel like you're trying to squeeze the wires and everything in there. This one doesn't even feel like it's going in your ear. Like, you're going to need to have tips that fit. Oh, that seal, though. Ugh! Anyway, if you look at the render tips, they're a foam-filled silicone. And, man, is it blocking sound now for shit sure. I need a better song. All right, this... This was happening on the Dakoni tips too, so I'm not going to give the, the claim of benefit to this. These have the strangest, strongest mid bass I've ever heard. Like there was a song that was just like, uh, uh, and it was like on the most extreme bass track with the most extreme bass IMs, you'd feel it like in your chest. But this was making me feel it in my chest and head for a completely different range of frequencies. It was just like the, and it was just like, oh my God, you're, like if you ever recorded a vibrator, like, you'd feel it. Oh my God, these sound mean as fuck. 
This is Mr. Robot uh, handshaked at OGA. I know there's like a flavor of the week here on on In Ear Fetish, but it just it just comes down to like luck. I don't know before I sit down with a thing if I'm gonna like it or hate it or be like, eh, it works for this small range of people who need this particular thing. So if you don't live in this building here, if you're all these people, don't worry, because you're only, only for these people. This I am. If I were to narrow it down for people, because that's what you want, you want to know if it's good for you. This I am is simultaneously one of the most aggressive and one of the smoothest. Lebo M, one by one. If you don't know what Lebo M one by one is, you need to go rewatch Lion King. Yeah, no, that's the, the word. It's just it's just descriptive verbs. Is it verbs? Nouns, not nouns. I really should study English again. It is my first language. It's a descriptive I am. It just does things. And it's not like here or here. It's like here. If that makes any sense. It sounds like the sounds are coming from slightly above me. At least in this track, they're singing from above me. I can't sing Lebo M, don't ask me to. You know, this is saying consistent. I think the sounds are like coming from here. It's like you're standing under some really expensive speakers. All right, let's look up the price. Um, I'm going to type it in here, TRI Starshine, and now if it is $500, I'm great. If it's under $500, it's a fucking steal, and if it's more than $500, I'll be sad, but I understand it. On the fucking nose. Get back here. All right, they're only available on Hi-Fi Go, and they're four fucking ninety nine. dollars they're dual BA, dual electrostat. And they're worth 500 fucking dollars. God, I'm getting good at this. I should have said 499. I'm off by a dollar. Okay, th th this is making sense. I'm pretty sure advanced electronic frequency division a three-way electronic frequency division combining with three acoustic physical tube chambers. All drivers combine flaws to work at ultimate sound quality, high resolution, detail, clarity. I'm learning as we're learning. Sony on ESTs. Remain based in Denmark. Chief, either. It features Knowles 29,689 for smooth, lively mid frequency response. All right, so it's got a 1BA is all bass, 1BA is all mids, and the, the highs are dual ESTs. And they are absolutely spec. They've got one review. These have got to be out for a year plus. It's one five star review. Can I read anything else? TRI Starter requires a DAP or amplifier with considerable driving force to demonstrate its original ability. Yes. If you can prepare such an environment, you can enjoy clear sound with less noise. If you try it with a non driving DAP, it will only cause disappointment. That was a 2021 review. That was August of 2021. These have been out forever. I've probably had them since since their inception. These might be August 2021. I apologize to my fans. I got real lazy with IMs in the main channel, like, because I couldn't do one, because I have to do 15 videos a month, and I had 15 other things that weren't IMs, and I had 30 IMs piling up. So I, it, it fucked us all over. People could have been enjoying this since two years ago. I'm listening currently to Chevy Chase singing The Way It Is from the Community OSD. That's the way it is. That's the way it goes. God, these are so good. These might be one of my favorite sounding IMs. No shit. Like, I'm... I know I say that a lot, and I have literally. Can I? Can I? Let's go. Let's, I'm not taking them out of my ear. Let's just take a walk. I, I. I came. I saw. I came again, and then I ended up filling up 
this is it. This is the last slot. Because this is my original big box, filled it, and then I bought a new box, and now I gotta take these two placeholders out. Because guess where these are going? Right there in the last slot. And it's time to buy another $90 fucking watch case for these. I'm gonna have to build a system. By the way, none of my collabs are in here. Collabs go in a separate, smaller box, which currently has other wires and shit in it. But yeah, no, um... <sighs> Fuck, these sound good. Let's plug them into something else. How about a tube hybrid? Boom, tubes. Again, high gain. 67 out of 100 on high gain. They like press the sound into your brain. It's like, hey, uh, I'm gonna cry. It's got, I'm, I'm, it's bringing me literally to tears right now. R Roslyn and Adama reunited from Balasar Galatska. There's a, it's not the song. It's not the song. It's the way the sound is delivered. Well, I'm actually tearing up. Like this is no shit, no joke. Fuck, they're good. It's like there, it, there's something about an aggressive, when a sound gets delivered to you in a way that like almost hurts, almost hurts. Like if I listen to like, I'll meet you at your house, or the fuck the track is from um, Cyberpunk, I will just break in half. This is one of those church IMs. You listen to gospel psalms with it and weep. Because it's it sounds so loud. I mean, I had to put all these up to like high to get it to be this loud. But it's so clean and clear and fuck. Back to sixty. Yeah, no, these are. Well, there you go. Fuck, and I'm probably gonna keep a uh, set of my renders on there. Because I don't think it affected it negatively, and it they actually hold in my ears a little better. Although you got to clean off your ear goop. There's ear goop. We all have it. Anyway, wallpaper available on the hoard. Um, yeah, bringing bringing back some IMs from the dead. If you have these, fuck man, tell me about them. And if you don't have them, fuck man, get them quick because they're about to not be here. Shine like stars, providing exquisite sounds. Let's see if it actually had the information on the back that I needed. What is the actual impedance? 56 ohms, 98 decibel sensitivity. So 98 is pretty low for an IM, and 56 is pretty high for an IM. Model star shine, uh, 20 to 20. There's nothing else on here. There's any information. Oh, fucking bravo, TRI. You continue. Let's see what the other fucking one I'm thinking about is. Oh, can I click the name TRI here? Hold on, before we, before we end this. TRI, TRI, uh, Meteor, Star C, Starlight, Tribrid. So yeah, it was a Starlight. And it was a big one, right? Yeah, there it is. Where the fuck is it? Why is it bringing me to an article? TRI, Starlight. Starlight, for yeah, it's an $800 IM. Fuck, man. Tear I don't miss. Time to do a collab, I think. In fact, I'll do a collab on these. Bring them up to the modern era with a better wire. Different tip selection. Change one of the, the colors in them. You know what? I gotta talk to Hi-Fi Go. Because that, the Tear I Starlight, is also huge. And I did the review of it, and I'm like, fuck. So now we've got that and the, the star shine. Just everything with stars. If it's got stars in it and Tear I, fucking buy it. I'm Zios Pantera. Patreon subscribers are to support this channel. Your your money goes to buying more fucking cases. Fuck, I just... It's not as impressive as the wall, but it's pretty impressive. Anyway, check out my Patreon subscribe star. $10 gets into the chat. Yard, yard sales happen at the beginning of every month on the main channel. I should post them here a little bit. I don't want to cry, so I'm going to stop listening to these. Seriously. And then I'm going to continue listening to them later.